Hey, 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 what's up, worship? What you trying to everybody? Favorite baby daddy voice in the street, man. You know, so I've been out for a few days, y'all. So everybody been wanting to know what's going on. So I'm going to drop two more videos that I had pre recorded already and uh, hadn't put them up. So I'm going to play this one, this one, with some shit I said on my birthday. And the other one was some shit I said about some young boy asking me a question. Here you go, y'all. Hey, 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 what's up, what's your boy, G-Shop, everybody, fake baby, daddy, what's the street, man? And today we at Chicago with it, y'all, in the studio, Bellevue Entertainment, right? So I had a few things I had to do, so I had to come to the studio. I just got a new phone, so I could come to the studio and link it with the computer and certain things like that. I put all other stuff together, but sometime I have to be here, y'all. So, you know, I'm just going through old emails and, you know, the new ones and up to date, you know, deleting shit. And then I run across one of the emails of one of my little guys. I guess one of the little, little brothers or whoever he is, you know, he ain't from my set. And, you know, he like, see, I really want to ask you a question, man, for real, for real, what's going on this and that. I'm like, what? And, you know, it was so something like, why do people hate on you? And I'm like... Oh, you know, a lot of people hate me. He's like, no, oh, gee. He said, I don't got no money. I, you know. And then I'm like, stop right there. Because that's a good uh, subject to start on. See, because a lot of people might not went through this and didn't understand why. Uh, we going to take this out. People hate on you for your success, right? And success is not always in the form of money, y'all. People hate on you for the fact that you can get along with your family. You hear me? They hate on the fact that y'all can have a family function. Everybody have a good time, drink good. Everybody leave home, you just kiss and they, they gone. Perfect day. Some families cannot do that, y'all. You know they cannot do it. As soon as they get the uncle and the cousin together, it goes up. Woo, woo, woo. And you can be the damn fool on the outside looking in like, oh man, all you gotta do is talk to your brother or your cousin, man. You need to talk to him. And when you start pulling some of them layers back, you go, like, man, he fucked my wife. You be like, what? He fucked his wife? Yeah, and then had a baby now. Yeah, man, they chose to have the baby, man. They could have had an abortion. I'm like, oh, wow, let me leave this alone. And he'd be like, man, well, you fucked my wife first. That's how I started. What? That's how I started. You fucked my wife. And then the new wife's like, wait a minute, you didn't tell me you had fucked her? And you'd be like, damn, all this is at a family function. So when they go somewhere and they at a party and ain't nothing jumped off, it makes them bitter on the inside. And you know, they might be the people at the party trying to stop shit at. Yo, you see how that bitch keep looking at you? You see how the bitch keep looking at you? Or it be the nigga say some slick shit like, hey, Joe, what's up with this nigga, man? This is this the third time this nigga that looked over here, man. And you be like, damn, dog, he, 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 he might be checking the suit out. Anything. So that's what I was telling them, oh, man, ain't nothing you can do about that, man. You know, people gonna be envious, hate you, and do all that. So they've been doing it from the beginning of the time. All you can do is keep it moving, man. Keep your head up and keep it moving. You know, they say success is the best revenge, man. Just keep succeeding. You know, like uh, I heard this on TikTok that people ain't proud of your success. They surprised you still going. You hear me? They surprised you still going. Some people thought you better fell off by now or be fucked up out here on drugs. Ain't got nowhere to stay. You can't stand nobody in your family. And you know, sometimes family ain't shit, y'all. But also judge people on their family, too. If a person can't get along with his family, there's something going on, y'all. Unless it's something like, well, oh, he fucked my wife, something like that. That's different. But I'm talking about, you know how it is. Everybody got a family member that used drugs or something. You know, so what? We give them money and try to help take care of them here and there, whatever. But when they start stealing your shit and you got to cut them off, then that's what that is. Ain't shit. 
you know. So if you catch somebody who's sleeping in the alley or abandoned building or something like that, and you know we got family down the street, ask them what's happening. And they'd be like, last year, I picked them up. As soon as it stopped snowing, we got cold. I said, I didn't want them out here. I left them in the house, let them stay in the house, trust them, come back. Both of my TVs was gone. And he's sitting there talking about, what happened to the TV, auntie? And she said, I bust that motherfucker upside his head, man. You know, some shit just ain't going to be allowed, you know. You're not going, you know, some people, they do more and insult your intelligence, y'all. They assume you ain't got none. You feel me? And some people try to take advantage of you because they figure you're a laid-back cat. You ain't hooping and hollering like everybody else, you know. They don't know you like that. You know, like a lot of times people uh, see me, I'm laid back. You don't know me like that, homie. You don't know me. You really don't want to get to know me like that. Trust me. I ain't got time to be beefing with nobody else, y'all. I just, my birthday was yesterday, y'all. I mean, 51 years old. Thank God. 51 years old, man. I wish a few of the other brothers could have been still here to see some of the guys I ran with. A couple of them in jail, and a couple of them dead. You know, I thought about them. I'm like, man, I wish they were still here. You know, but I'm going to live on through them. You know, they can live through me, y'all. That's why I try to be a good daddy. Take care of my kids, my grandkids, man, and stay out the way. I don't understand why these young boys is uh so much. Yeah, you're banging me. You caught up in the middle of that shit. Hey, yeah. You ten toes stomp down. Hey, do what you got to do. You smashing and you know what you do. I understand that. But, okay, it's a certain way you can do things, too. What I don't like is y'all giving out your damn addresses. You go give a nigga with a chop of your address and you know you got the drum on the thing. You gonna really give them your address for real? When I was coming up for me to get the drop on the op, y'all, I would have to sleep with his baby mama or one of his girlfriends. I'm talking about an ugly bitch or big one, you know. No offense to big girl, but uh, uh, I'm talking about an ugly chick, the one that he just fucked one time and got pregnant. She know all his moves, but you know. I just have to fuck with her to find out where his new location at. And y'all giving y'all away? Wow. Where they do that at? Wow, y'all niggas is strange. And then I learned to be mad when a nigga pull up. Y'all on Facebook, pull up, bitch ass nigga. Pull up, pull up, nigga. Pull up, nigga. Pull up. You hollering in the phone. But guess what? He looking at you. He see the big ass McDonald's sign. Where you at? You don't see where he at. Because he telling you I'm on my way. And you so busy in the sign, you ain't even seen it. I mean, you so busy in the phone, you ain't even seen it. That he moving for real, for real. And then when the shooting the shit start, you ain't got off a shot, man. You ain't got off that last shot because you fucking with this phone. Stop letting these phones get y'all killed, man. For real, stop letting these phones get y'all killed. Stop letting your pride and your ego get you killed, man. Don't sit here and think you got to be that tough when you go uh, give a nigga your fucking location because you that tough and you got two girls, so what? I know you're a dust lady, okay. You see what they did to duck? Y'all know why they did Duck like that? Because they knew Duck was going to have at least one gun. Maybe possible two. So they sent five motherfuckers at Duck. Five shooters at Duck. He couldn't have survived that if he wanted to. You feel me? He didn't have nobody with him. Sometimes you get so important that you don't even know how much the other side value you. Well, value your demise. You don't know how much they value that we want this nigga out the way. And when he start fucking with dude that got money, pfft, hey, let, let some of that shit alone. Some of that shit, pfft, you know, y'all already know how we feel about our motherfucking dead people. You don't go around here dissing dead opposite shit, stepping on their grave and talking about this and that. Ooh, 
Just come on, man. That this shit, this child is, this child is, well, not to y'all, but y'all in the moment. To me, I look at it like a child, but you know, when a nigga die, y'all got him. If y'all got a list, strike his ass off the list. Shh. You ain't got to put him on social media. You ain't got to say you did it. You ain't got to say nothing. Your gang know what it is. Strike that bitch off the list and keep it moving. Don't say nothing on Facebook or Instagram. Don't say nothing. For what? Ain't number of ammunition they gonna use against you in the future. So I be watching what I'm saying. It's just shit they gonna use against you in the future. You know? And then some people, like I said, we were talking about jealousy and envy. Some people are hate on you because you can pick the phone up and actually make a call and have some niggas pull up for you. People hate that shit. Niggas hate that shit when they can't stop. You know, they can't call a nigga with a nice car to pull up. You know, they can't call nobody. You know, and that makes them mad. A lot of niggas getting killed, y'all. The shooter might not be beside him, but the nigga who gave the location or made the mistake, and you'd be saying, three weeks later when your man buried, what was the purpose of you going live, dog? You didn't have but four, five motherfuckers on your live, and uh, three of them was ops. What the fuck you went live for? And then he might have seen them coming or knew he was coming. But it's mighty strange, all the shooters, they step it out the way and let their man get hit, and then they come shooting later. Fuck that shit, nigga. You should have been shooting before I hit the ground. You should have been shooting before I hit the ground. What the fuck? I don't need you chasing no nigga that's gone already. I don't need you chasing no car and none of that shit. Fuck that. Give me some mental contention and get my niggas on that. Get me some mental contention and get my niggas on that. You ain't got to shoot out chasing no damn car that you know you ain't finna hit no way. You couldn't hit that bitch when he pulled up and gave it to me. How the fuck you gonna hit it when it's down the street? You feel me? Anyway, man, it's your boy G. Show. Everybody say big, big, what's the street name? I'm out of here.